Hi, my name is Carrie Berlin. I live in Manchester, New Hampshire, and I am a survivor of domestic violence. In the spring of 2018, I had tickets to a country concert with my boyfriend at a local concert hall. We had been dating almost a year at that point, and the tickets were supposed to be a gift for our anniversary. The event itself was great, but I remember that night for a completely different reason. What started as an argument on the ride home quickly escalated into violence. In a moment that I will never be able to erase from my memory, I watched a man that I truly and completely trusted raise his hand to me. I felt the impact of his anger and his strength collide with the entire left side of my face. In the span of a 30 minute argument, I had been made into a statistic, a victim, or so I thought. I wish that I could say that I went forth and bravely did what I knew needed to be done, but I did not. Like a lot of survivors, I was racked with guilt. I experienced a lot of emotions that I manifested internally in a very unhealthy way. I constantly asked myself, what did I do? Why did I deserve that? But soon after, some friends I met at a domestic violence shelter taught me about a 1994 bill that Joe Biden had written, the Violence Against Women's Act. That bill had protected domestic and sexual violence survivors for 25 years, and last year it protected me. This year, the Violence Against Women Act is up for renewal, and Joe Biden is the only person that I trust to ensure that that gets renewed and then expanded upon. Women and men across the country have shown our perseverance and our bravery in coming forward and taking control of our stories. We have decided to reverse the normalization of domestic and sexual violence in our culture, and we still have so much more to be done. I am honored to work for an experienced leader and a good man who has worked nonstop to ensure that every person feels safe in her surroundings and that if that safety is taken, they know where to turn. We have so much more to do, and with Joe Biden, I know that that is possible.